As the mega drought continues, major water reservoirs in the west, such as Lake Mead and Lake Powell, and even Bartlett Lake outside of Phoenix, have all seen a drop in water levels over the past several years. Nearby Elephant Butte is seeing the same type of water level decrease, the reservoir just over 13% of its full capacity. ABC 7 New Mexico News Operations Manager Tom Scott is live at Elephant Butte, and meteorologist Katie Frazier is here in the studio. Katie, what can you tell us about the current situation at Elephant Butte? Well, Mark, compared to this time last year, Elephant Butte is a mere 1.7% fuller than it was one year ago. That is due to the bountiful monsoons we had last summer, but the lake is still at a very low level and there's no rain in sight until the monsoon begins. Tom Scott is here to visualize it for us. Tom, what can you show us and what are you seeing? Well, Katie, really quick, I want to show you behind me. This is Rattlesnake Island and you used to be able to swim to Rattlesnake Island from the west side of the lake. Well, take a look at this. It's a road now. The water has sunken, it's receded, and here we have a way to get across. You can even drive across, and that's how much this uh, area has receded in, uh, in its water levels. Just so you know, 12 to 13 inches, uh, 12 to 13 uh, percent capacity is what we're told, so there's a lot of water out here, but still, it's going down, and like I said, Rattlesnake, Rattlesnake Island, you used to have to swim there. Now, you have to take, you can take a car or you can walk there. Tom, it's incredibly sad to see that, but thank you so much for showing that to us for people who may not always go out to Elephant Butte. But today, I spoke with a National Weather Service meteorologist about why the levels are so low. What we haven't seen this year is a really healthy winter snowfall. Uh, precipitation amounts, we're only getting about 70% to 80% of normal in terms of, uh, in terms of snowfall this winter. So that's just less water to work with, both in the upper Rio Grande and then down to Elephant Butte. Connor also added the drought is influencing what crops can be grown here, who can irrigate, and how much water will be available to farmers in the future. Coming up at 5, we'll talk about what water resources we may have to rely on more in the future if the drought continues. Mark? All right.